Good playgrounds should feel like part of the community with local features, trains, lifesaver huts, tractors and tank stands and sheepdogs running around. Playgrounds aren't just about having some fun, they're also about kids growing up and developing skills. For us at Playworks, it's about giving the child a life experience. Jazz, you are a name that's certainly synonymous with Kedron. How long have you been here? So I've been here for 17 years. I started playing hockey when I was six and mum and dad just put me straight into Kedron Wable, it's the closest suburb to where we were living. Um, but yeah, 17 years and I don't want to change ever. Now you're telling me that it's not from a hockey playing family, which is unusual. No, so initially mum wanted me to play netball uh, when I turned eight or nine, but I refused because I loved the club and loved the game so much. And you've introduced a few other members too? Yes, so my little cousin Trinity Woodward, uh, she's been playing here for five years and she, she, loves, she loves hockey. Like She's always out in the backyard practicing with all my old hockey sticks that I've given her. So what do you like about playing hockey and Kedron? Um, I like that playing hockey you get to meet new friends and have fun and I like Kedron because you, like we have a turf field and grass fields and I have heaps of friends from school from here. I want to become a hockey star and I'm probably going to stay here and keep on moving up in divisions. Alyssa, I believe you've got a little bit of a claim to fame here at Kedron. You are the first player, not necessarily the last, to have come right the way through the club from being a minky to being a Gillaroo. Yes, that's correct. We have had some other representative players, obviously, but um, the first junior right through to a senior player to play in the Gillaroos team. So I've been with the club for almost 20 years. Uh, I started in Minkies when I was six. And then I went from Minkies to Modifieds, played all my junior years here, um, right through to J1s where we won a few premierships which was awesome to be a part of a winning team. Uh, and then I went through to Div Division 2 and now I've been playing in Division 1 for the last six, seven years. The development through those junior years was, I guess, probably something that can contribute to my success as a player and making that jewellery squads. Who do you think has been your biggest influence? Um, my dad would have to be my biggest influence. So he has been with the club since it initiated, so the 40 years, I guess you could say. Um, and he has been my biggest supporter, my biggest coach, my biggest critic. And um, yeah, he's supported me all the way through. You say you've been here for 17 years, so you've seen a lot of players come and go. Um, who stand out for you? Uh, so Nikki, um, our, my coach, has definitely has stood out ever since she's come to the club, she's been amazing. She's been my favourite coach by far. Um, she's also brought in a lot of other girls because of how awesome she is. Um, I also loved playing alongside Jodie Kenny before she moved over to Perth. Um, I think I was 13 or 14 at the time and I absolutely, I looked up to her and loved just playing that year with her. So. Nikki, you've been the first division coach here at Kedron as long as I've been covering hockey, but how did you first get involved with Kedron? Uh, it was, I was originally with East for 19 years and then moved to um, commercial and coached there for a, a number of years and then the vacancy came up at Kedron and I knew Kedron had a good junior base and, and were looking to develop. They were sort of looking down the bottom of the ladder in Div 1 and I thought you know I could come over and maybe show some expertise and, and see what happens when you know develop those juniors that they had. So that's basically how I got there and um, certainly enjoyed enjoying it and enjoyed it ever since I arrived. Now give yourself a bit of a plug because I know you were a scorcher. What else have you achieved as a player? Um, well I started Queensland 21s and then scorchers and as a player had a number of um, club grand finals and, and grand final wins and had success in winning national championships as a scorcher and played for the um, Queensland team and scorchers for 13 years so I guess that's a that's a feat in itself and you know prided myself on you know trying to be better than all the young ones as I, as I got older so. Now you mentioned you've represented in club finals and for the last few years you've certainly been there knocking on the trophies door. Disappointment or how does it compare as a coach to a player? 
think initially it was pleasing that we were making the top four and, and now I think you know we made the final three years ago and, and we didn't win and that was probably the year that we thought, yep, this is our year, um, didn't come about and I think the girls have learnt from that experience and, and we're probably still learning and the girls are, are developing and, and they've got older and, and had more opportunities. I guess you've got to lose one to win one and, and I'm hoping that's the case. And so Jazz, year, you've been part of the team that's made it to the grand final a few times. Ah, uh, yes. How disappointed are you? Very disappointed, especially that year where we we made the grand final game and we lost to Valleys in extra time. Uh, I've kind of blocked it from my memory, to be honest. But yeah, I just I remember when that goal just went in over the line and it was all over for us. It was absolutely devastating, and ever, from then on, like we've had that motivation to eventually make another grand final and win. This year I've sort of gone about a different tact and we've talked about winning more rather than just keeping it under the under the hat and see what happens and thought I'd bring it out there in the open and talking about winning actions with the girls and hoping those nerves and all those things that happen with finals you know eventually when we get there hopefully we'll get there that um, those nerves will be gone and and um, then we'll just be able to play the way that I know we can play and then we know the girls know they can play. This year we've we ch we've changed a lot of team dynamics and I think it's been really good for our team. Um, we've changed our goals and our strategies and it's a change that we've needed for a long time. So 2016 is definitely our year. Is this the year? And if so, what's different? It's. I hope it's the year. Um, we're doing everything we can. We've sort of started off a bit up and down and that we've had a number of key players injured, um, we've had 21s out, but again we talked about at the beginning of the season not making excuses if we have players out, that's part and parcel of having rep players and, and you know players that are playing and training consistently that injuries happen and they are away on rep duty so we also talked about we have the depth in our Div 2s who stand up week in and week out and do a fabulous job and, and there's no excuses why we can't you know beat any team no matter what um, team we feel on the pitch. Hey Paul, you asked what was different about this year with Kedron Wave or Division 1. This is our, one of our differences. We've got on board some physios that are going to be working with the girls during the training sessions, during games, any injuries they have through the week they can go over to their practice, the TPS Health Physio Centre and have some work done over there. So we're really looking forward to what they've been already doing and what they're going to be doing with the girls this season. Look, thanks Nikki. Uh, as TPS Health is, is really excited about being involved with the club this year, uh, we're, we're a local uh, physio Centre based in Lutwich and um, we're really excited about being here not only at trainings to help the girls with the strapping and injury assessments um, and the men as well but also being at the, the women's game sideline getting that, that uh, immediate injury assessment done and, and hoping to, to get those girls back out on the, on the field as quickly as possible. So. All the teams have a really good relationship from the turf teams to the grass teams to the men's side and the masters side so we really are a club that um, all areas of the club work together to be a su su successful club. So, Jenny, uh, tell us how the women's club came to being here in Kedron. Some of the men played for YMCA and they got uh, lease land at Hamilton Road Reserve at Chermside and they asked their sisters, wives and some of the kids' mothers would they join the club as well. I was asked to coach the first ladies team, we played B2 in Brisbane. Three years later, the men worked very hard and put up lights. Everyone joined in and levelled the grounds, planted grass, and we got the training started. The following year, we built a clubhouse and amenities blocks. The ladies started in 1976, junior girls started a team in 1977. They then grew quickly while some of the taxation girls came across after their club failed. And primary school hockey started playing on a Friday afternoon in this area. The ladies did a lot of fundraising behind the scenes. They delivered phone books. We made lamingtons under one of the ladies' houses. We had Christmas raffles. We worked very hard and ran the canteen. Since 1980, we had four senior ladies' teams and eight to 10 junior girls' teams right up until the early 90s. In the early 90s, we went to Division One and were very successful in a lot of other grades. Right up until now, we have three players in the recent hockey roos, Jodie Schultz, Audrey Smith and Sav Fitzpatrick. I'm a very proud member of this club and in the next couple of weeks we're going to be ha celebrating our 40th anniversary. On the Saturday the 4th of June, the club is going to hold a commemorative dinner here at Kedron Wable Services Club. 
Uh, we actually started in 1976 as City United, as a lot of people in the hockey community would know. And then in 1996 we changed our name to Kedron Wavell and obviously 20 years later we're here just as successful as ever. So we're calling on all our past players, friends, parents and supporters to come along and join in the, uh, the happy memories, perhaps maybe some not so happy, and uh, get together with their old friends and uh, just have a great time. We are uh, selling tickets now on our website so you can go to kwhockey.com um, for the price of a uh, ticket for a two course meal you'll also receive a commemorative shirt to be able to um, celebrate 40 years of um, hockey for Kedron Mobile Hockey Club. When you get a lot of old hockey players together that's really all they want to talk about, all the good times in the old days, perhaps even uh, with a lot of our new players talking about all the good times in the, in the later days as well. The club has worked so hard with their juniors and, and developing them and, and since I've been here the, the key players have stayed with the club and it's a real family club and, and um, I think the, the people that have been here a number of years, I know you're going to talk to Jenny Tidy, she would love to have a Div Division 1 Premiership. Um, a lot of people would be really happy, including myself, and I think that's before I leave and before I don't coach anymore, I'd certainly like to have a, a Div 1 Premiership for the Kedron Wavell team.